Baikova, Valentina and Cherednik Tatiana are pensioners from the Kursk region, abandoned by the Russian authorities. Ukrainian soldiers evacuated the women to Sudza. Their villages were bombed by the Russians. They say if it were not for the Ukrainian armed forces, they would have died of hunger. It was the Ukrainian side that provided water and food, reports Freedom Media Outlet. Cherednik Tatiana Sergeyevna says that she currently lives in a boarding school in Sudza, where she was taken by Ukrainian soldiers to save her from shelling. We are alive, but our village is gone. We are now in Sudza, in a boarding school. The Ukrainians took us out, for which we are very grateful. When everything is over, I will call you back, Tatiana Sergeyevna says in a video message. Another resident of the Kursk region, Valentina Vasilyevna Baikova, tells us that her native village of Lebedevka was destroyed by Russian troops. The houses were destroyed. She cannot return there. She is looking for her son to take her from the boarding school where she was taken by the Ukrainian military. Son, Maxim, Olga, grandchildren, Nikita and Sachka, please ask for a green corridor. We have nowhere to live in Lebedevka. The village was bombed by our own Russian troops. Thanks to the Ukrainian military, who supported us for three months, and we did not die of hunger. Now I am in a boarding school in Sudza. We were placed here temporarily. And then where? We cannot return to Lebedevka. And at such an age, starting from scratch, is very difficult. Please contact the Russian government, Putin. Let him remember about the Kursk region, that there are many people here at the border. Why did everyone decide that we went missing? Please contact the governor of the Kursk region. Make a statement to him. What is happening to the people? What are they doing here to us? Valentina Vasilyevna laments. She also noted that she was able to survive in such conditions only thanks to the Ukrainian military. Thanks to the Ukrainians. They brought us humanitarian aid and water. Absolutely everything. That's why we survived. Thanks to them, I am here before you. Everyone, please ask for a green corridor so that we can be taken out of here. We have nowhere to live here because Russian troops have bombed everything emphasized a resident of Lebedivka, which was destroyed by the Russian troops, Freedom reports. Let us recall that the project, unnecessary to Putin, was created to show life in the frontline Kursk region, which the Russian authorities abandoned without support, not providing residents with the opportunity to evacuate and continuing to shell the civilian population. Чередник Татьяна Сергеевна, Настенька, деточка, мы живы, но деревни нашей нет. Так что не переживай за нас. Мы сейчас в Суджи, в интернате. Вывезли нас украинцы. Спасибо им большое. Негде, все тут разбомбили абсолютно наши российские войска. Все, спасибо. Footage has been released, showing the evacuation from the siege of 35 servicemen of the Medoid unit under the Ukrainian Territorial Defense Forces 169th Brigade. Besieged near one of the occupied villages, the fighters resisted until the end and waited for help from their fellow soldiers. The fighters were evacuated from the area without any loss with the support of the armored fighting vehicles of the infantrymen who approached the besieged soldiers from the area under the control of Russian servicemen. A Ukrainian telegram channel that shared the video, pointed to the bravery of Ukrainian soldiers who risked their lives to help their fellow soldiers despite the danger of being attacked by Russians. Special Operations Forces fighters conducted a raid on the enemy rear in the Kursk region. The video was released by the Special Operations Forces Command of the Armed Forces of Ukraine. It is reported that as a result of successful actions behind enemy lines, SOF soldiers of the Armed Forces of Ukraine destroyed 14 occupiers and captured three. Judging by the footage released on video, the special forces managed to sneak into the forest where the occupiers were located and carry out a surprise attack. 
Camouflage robes were used for additional camouflage. Taking advantage of the surprise, two occupiers were captured right in their shelter. Another was wounded in the shooting battle and decided to surrender. The use of drones for coordination is a common practice for special operations forces, and not only commercial drones but also specialized military developments are used for this purpose. Over the past 24 hours, the Ukrainian defense forces have killed and wounded about 1,770 Russian occupiers in battle. The soldiers also destroyed 272 units of military equipment and weapons of the Russian troops on the front. The total number of manpower losses suffered by the enemy on Ukrainian soil over more than 2.8 years of full-scale war amounts to approximately 710,660 invaders. The General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine reported updated data as of November 11. In addition to the large number of invaders, the defenders on the eve subtracted 40 combat armored vehicles, 34 artillery systems, and 4 tanks from the Russian army. Two Russian cruise missiles and 57 operational tactical level drones were shot down in the sky. The fighters burned another 119 units of enemy vehicles and tankers, and 16 units of special equipment. The remaining losses of the Russian armed forces in the war against Ukraine remained at the same level, minus 1,245 MLRS, 996 air defense systems, 369 aircraft, 329 helicopters, 28 ships slash boats and a submarine. As the general staff notes, 160 combat clashes were recorded during the past day. There were three attacks by the occupiers in the Kupyan direction during the day. The defense forces repelled enemy assaults near Kindrasivka, Zagrazovi and Zeleny Gay. In the Lyman direction, the enemy attacked six times. He tried to advance near the settlements of Grakivka, Terny, Torsky and Sarabrianka. In the Kramatorsk direction, Three clashes were recorded in the areas of Stepaki and Shesevoy Yar. In the direction of Toritsk, the enemy launched 16 attacks near Toritsk and Sherbanivka. In the Pokrovsky direction, our defenders stopped 35 assault and offensive actions of the aggressor in the areas of Myro Lubivka, Promeny, Hryharivka, Solidovoy, Lasivka, Sikoy Yar, and Petrivka. <laughs>